To be fair, Trump did score a few points early on against Hillary Clinton, and he could have spent the whole week talking about those. But instead, he fixated on one particular thing she said towards the end of the night. And one of the worst things he said was about a woman in a beauty contest. He called this woman Miss Piggy. Then he called her Miss Housekeeping because she was Latina. Donald, she has a name. Where did you find her? Her name where is did Alicia you find Machado. Where did you find it? She- Why does he care where she found it? <laughs> is he just flummoxed because it doesn't come from any of his three news sources, namely Breitbart, dudes hanging out at golf club bars, <laughs> and the racist minotaur who talks to him in the one hour that he sleeps every night? <laughs> but, but that Miss Universe moment was just a small part of a 90-minute debate, so all Trump had to do was not take the bait. And yet, the next morning, he went on Fox and & Friends and, without even being asked, brought the subject up. And watch the anchor's faces as it sinks in that he is actually doing this. That person was a Miss Universe person, mm-hmm. and she was the worst we ever had. The worst, the absolute worst. She was impossible. And she was a Miss Universe contestant and ultimately a winner who they had a tremendously difficult time with as Miss Universe. Did not know that story. Well, yeah. I didn't know you. What? What? She was the, she she was the winner, and uh, you know she gained a massive amount of weight, and uh, it was it was a real problem. You can see them thinking, "What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Don't you know it's wrong to degrade former beauty pageant winners?" We at Fox recently learned that due to the circumstances of Roger Ailes' departure from this very company. <laughs> But Trump still wasn't done. He pressed the issue all week long, culminating in an online meltdown in the early hours of Friday morning. His tweet storm began at 3 a.m. and didn't stop until about 10. He unloaded on former Miss Universe Alicia Machado. Did crooked Hillary help disgusting? Check out sex tape and past. Alicia M. become a U.S. citizen so she could use her in the debate? That is a candidate for President of the United States urging America to check out a sex tape. <laughs> just, just do me a favor. Look up into the sky right now. Higher. No, h- higher still. Do you see that? Way up there. Way up above the clouds. That's rock bottom. <laughs> and we are currently way down here. And look, not that it mat- not that it makes it any better. Not that it makes this any better. But Trump behaved equally appallingly to her face during a 1997 CBS interview. Alicia has done an incredible job. She really has turned out to be one of the great Miss Universes, I Thank will you. say. And she had a little problem during the middle where she gained a little weight. I don't a think lot of... so. Yeah, she's probably right. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Wow. Donald Trump really should have been prepared for Monday night, because it seems he's been losing televised debates to women for 20 years now. <laughs> same interview, it emerged that CBS would be running an unscientific viewer poll during the Miss Universe pageant. And something tells me that Donald Trump had something to do with the question. The viewers can actually call in and vote. Uh, let's, let's bring up the question. It says, should a pageant title holder be required to maintain her physical appearance during her reign? Why do you think this is an important question the viewers would care about? Well, it's something that really has come up over the last year. Yeah. It came up over that past year because you made a media fucking circus out of it. Trump treats his statements like they're Pokemon. They're imaginary things that he nurtures and evolves and eventually uses to fight with strangers. (laughs) And thus, the two threads of this week come together. Completely unscientific polling, which we know Donald Trump trusts implicitly, and his deeply held belief that female weight gain is a betrayal. So here is the moment of truth. What were the results of that poll? Do you think that uh, Miss Universe should, uh, the pageant holder, should be required to maintain her physical appearance during her reign? And look at the responses. Most of the people said no. Oh, how about that, Donald? (laughs) It seems you have a choice. Either admit that unscientific polling is bullshit or that your views on women's bodies are horrifying. I await whatever decision you make at 3 a.m. tonight on Twitter.